Okay, we're in my Dell Optiplex here, showing you what I've done to it. Um, it's a Dell Optiplex 755, BIOS version 822, and let's see, processor, uh, 2.13 gigahertz to 2 megabyte cache. Um, 8 gigabytes of RAM, yes, I've upgraded since you've seen it last. It's awesome now with 8 gigabytes of RAM, 800 megahertz sticks. I have Corsair Vengeance RAM inside of there, and I also have just everyday RAM. I have 4 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance and just other sticks of regular RAM. I don't know why I do that, it's just what I had lying around, I didn't feel like paying whatever it costs to put 8 gigabytes of RAM inside of the computer, just making sure you guys can see it. Um, PC info, I have a NVIDIA GeForce GT630 inside of there, um, with 2 gigabytes of VRAM, same as before. Uh, date and time, I think that's correct. Yep. Um, boot sequence, and I might as well show you my BIOS configuration, because a lot of people have been problems with putting Mac on here, and yes, I still have Mac in here. Um, it's my daily driver, I use it for Final Cut to edit these videos, and I use it for school projects and stuff like that. Yes, I'm a college student, and yes, I do a lot of, uh, film and audio. Uh, my... I'm double majoring right now. I'll give you later on, guys. I'll give you a little video of, of um, like what my two majors are and how I'm dealing with college and like a life update when I feel more comfortable about getting in front of the camera. But uh, so drives. Let's see. This is where you have to change stuff. So what you have to do to set the BIOS is go into maintenance load defaults. You have to load the defaults first, you reboot, and then go into onboard devices, I think. No, you go to drives, then you go down to SATA operation, and make sure it's set to RAID Auto Detect ATA, otherwise my extra folder will not let you boot up. Then you go into video, and you go to primary video. Either or works. And if you're going to be running parallels or anything like that, I recommend going into performance, virtualization, enable that, don't enable this, don't enable that, and enable speed step, and enable multiple CPU cores. Very important in Yosemite and Mavericks and anything above Leopard, you know. Um, so, and then let's just boot this up. Alright, cool. Don't want you guys seeing me. So, I have Chimera, Chimera installed right now. Thinking about using Clover. I like the way Clover works better. It just works a lot better than Chameleon. And then here's the Yosemite boot screen. does take a while to boot up uh, might as well talk about something uh, that computer you saw in the last video I put a Samsung 850 Evo inside of it 500 gigabytes okay 500 gigabytes it's really awesome it makes the computer fly you know the Dell that's why it was so fast um, yeah, out of the box, they're not that fast. Um, yeah, just watch my videos and I hope you enjoy it. You know, I hope you enjoy my videos. Um, like I said, I plan on pushing a lot of videos out. 
this summer. I have a lot of ideas floating in my head. Um, they're really fun ideas, and they're all technology-based. Um, yeah, I do films here and there, like you saw my Greenberg train show. I went to a train show with my best bud, Christian. Shout out to Christian. I'll put his channel in the description. Um, he hates it when I do that. But, um, yeah, we went to the, uh, train video, and it was, we went to a train show, and it was really fun. Uh, so, my booting up, it always takes a while. My camera battery's dying, so if it dies, I'll have to change it and then get back to you. Yeah, I have it set to bypass the password. Um, okay, it's still booting up. A lot of files on this computer. I have a 500 gigabyte standard spinning hard drive, and there's a lot of files on here. Alright, so uh, here's my launch pad. I have Final Cut. Actually, paid for it, believe it or not. And just a little reminder. Uh, it's really awesome. Final Cut is my all time favorite video there. Um, while that's booting up, I'll show you a little teaser of what the specs are. I kind of showed you in the bios, but uh, you'll see it here. Yeah, it's pretty slow. <laughs> I want to get one of these computers with a Core 2 Quad. I'm thinking that a Core 2 Quad will be a lot faster a 2.4 gigahertz core 2 quad would be a lot faster than a 2.13 inch 2.13 gigahertz core 2 duo. I can get a Dell Optiplex 755 with the core 2 quad on Amazon used for about 115, no, like 150 bucks. And I think it's worth it. Um, I would never buy an eBay again. I bought a computer on eBay and I got screwed once. And never again will I buy an eBay. I'll show you a little preview. Remember that uh, the video I made, the CCM project. Well, here's the here's the full um, the project. You'll see how many cuts are involved. Look at all this editing. All this glorious editing. I mean, look at all that. It's like editing Palooza. It's like crazy. There's so much editing involved. And doing it on a Dell with a Core 2 Duo is kind of painful, you know? With the GT630, it does help. See? NVIDIA GeForce GT630. And the reason why it now says NVIDIA, not EVGA, is because... I install the NVIDIA web drivers, which hugely improves the performance. Uh, let's see if I can get more information. Yeah, it's 2048 X16. Very decent, you know. But the reason why it's so slow is because it's a Core 2 Duo. And it's 2.13 GHz. If it was a Core 2 Quad, or at least a 3 GHz Core 2 Duo, it would be significantly faster. Um, even Windows on here is pretty pretty sluggish, but you know it's not meant to run Yosemite, so putting Yosemite on this is pretty darn awesome. Uh, so this is the project. All these audio files were edited. I mean, they're all like my remixes, and uh, narration was edited in Logic. So all the narration files were edited in Logic, which is pretty cool. Can't really show you too much of this because it's on YouTube. Guys can watch it. Let's see what else I can show you. Uh, you know, iMovie. Well, why show that if I show Final Cut? Um, uh, this is a Plex server, so I have all my media on here. I have Premiere Pro on here. Not gonna load that up because uh, it's a trial and I think it expired. Um. Parallels desktop. Why not? Load that up. Okay, sorry the camera cut off. It shoots in 10 minute segments. And I don't want to make this video too long. 
Let's just load up Windows 7 just to show you that it works. It's really, it's like a Mac. You know, there's nothing different between this is a Dell and, you know, it's running Mac. It feels like a real Mac when you're using it. Sometimes, since I have a Mac keyboard, um, sometimes I do get confused. Like, I'll hit the option key to go into the boot menu instead of F12. Um, it just, it can, sometimes can be confusing. Um, oh, and I have a KVM switch over here. So, if, if I can, my desk is a little bit messy. I'm trying to hide it on camera. Let me see if I can find the wire. Okay, I think it's here. Yep, there it is. Okay, no. No. Don't want that. So if I can just boot up my other computer. My other computer is a Dell Dimension 4600. I'll show it to you guys in a future video. So that's Windows 7. It loads the Sorry about that guys, my battery just died. <laughs> Uh, so, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, rate, subscribe, if you like this content of computers, checking them out, especially Dells, old Macs, and Acer netbooks, just computer junk in general, like upgrading RAM and stuff like that, if you like watching that kind of stuff, rate comment so just subscribe to me uh hopefully you guys will enjoy it um i enjoy making it so yeah all right see ya peace